Ariel Hawani at Strikeforce Nashville with Strikeforce CEO and President Mr. Scott Coker. And Scott, obviously a lot of buzz surrounding this event on Saturday night, live on CBS. Would you say in all your years of promoting, this is the biggest card? Definitely. It's the, uh, you know, these three guys could, or these three fights could all be main events of their own. So it's like, it's a triple main event. So it, yeah, I would say yes. There are a lot of casual fans saying, CBS, once again, why isn't Fyodor Emelianenko here? Address the situation. Why isn't he fighting well, on this card? I mean, the thing is, you know, with, uh, with Fedor, I mean, you guys all know, we're dealing with M1, so I'm trying to get some issues resolved, and, you know, we were hoping he would uh, be fighting, but uh, it didn't work out, and maybe we can get him back uh, in the near future. Is the relationship still good between you and M1? Yeah, there's still a good dialogue, of course, but, you know, it's, uh, it's you know, sometimes I think it's a language barrier, sometimes I think it's a cultural barrier, but, you know, we, ha we have some hoops to jump through, and we're, we're trying to get through them. Uh, last week in Abu Dhabi, UFC President Dana White said it's his obsession to sign Fyodor and that he's talked to M1 more recently than we think. Right. What do you take? Uh, uh, what's your take on that? My, uh, we have a contract. That's all I have to say, is we have a contract. Okay. Speaking of contracts, how difficult was it to get Shinya Aoki to fight here in the United States, considering the dream partnership? You know, I'll tell you, uh, and, I, and I've said this over and over and over, it took me about a year to make this fight happen. I wanted this fight to happen last year. And, uh, you know, for whatever reason, scheduling this and that, you know, it, it just didn't work out. But, uh, you know, as a fan and, and as somebody that's been in the mixed martial arts business and, and, and worked uh, in Japan for K1 for many years, it was a personal goal for me to have their champions fight our champions. Because I think that's really what should be going, going on. I think that the best fighters in the world should fight each other. And, uh, you know what, this is, uh, I think, the number one uh, shot. The guy that wins this fight, I think you say he's number one. Yeah, considering what happened last week Absolutely. in Abu Dhabi, you'd say that's fair? Absolutely. This is for the number one slot in the world. All right. And I'm just curious, you know, Gilbert Melendez, this is a guy, before you guys ever were on Showtime, he was a guy fighting your promotion, Josh Thompson fights. I mean, he's yeah. been with you yes. since the beginning. How yeah. special is it to have him in this spot? I'll tell you, there's, there's four fighters. There's Gilbert, there's Josh, there's uh, Kung and Frank, you know, and they've really stuck it out with us when, you know, they had other options and we didn't have a TV deal, we didn't have any sponsorships. I mean, we were packing the venue and we we're doing a good job promoting. But, um, you know, they have a special place, uh, you know, in my heart for those guys because they were uh, very loyal and stuck it out with us. And so whatever I can do for them, you know, I'm going to go out of my way. And so when this fight opportunity came for Gilbert, I said, Gilbert, this is going to be a great opportunity. Let's, let's do this on CBS. And he was excited and we could, let's, let's, let's get it on. You mentioned during the press conference that when you guys had your initial Showtime press conference in April of 2009, uh, the roster looks entirely different now. Oh, Did you yeah. think it would happen this quickly, the evolution of your roster? No, I, I really didn't. And, uh, you know, we picked up certain assets of fighters. But if you look at what we picked up and what we started with in April to now, it's, you know, think about pre-April of 09. We had 15 fighters on a contract, right? Then April starts, we have... 65, 70, and now we have 140 fighters in the contract. So, you know, now we have, uh, you know, Dan Henderson, we have, you know, Jacare, Gegard Musashi, King Mo, uh, you know, uh, we'll work through the Fedor thing, you know, Gina, I believe we'll be back, uh, you know, because I, I That's think a big question. Yeah, well, I mean, the thing is, you know, she's doing her movie thing, right? But uh, I believe there's that fire inside of her, and I don't think she wants to end her career the way it with a with a with a uh, with a Christine Cyborg fight, but uh, I think she's a fighter. But you know, I wish her success in her film career as well. But if you look at the roster, just continue to grow, continue to grow, get quality guys. Add a Dan Henderson, you know, uh, it's it's just really been amazing to watch, and I'm so thankful to these guys because they're fighting their hearts out, and and uh, we're happy to have them on Showtime and have, happy to have them on CBS. You brought up Gina. I wasn't going to, but now I have to ask. When's sure. the last time you've talked to her? I talked to her. Uh, I emailed her. Uh, right before she left for her film and uh, you know that was a while ago now yeah, it's been like a couple months but well you know when she gets back I think she's coming back soon but we'll re we'll, we'll re reconnect I mean we've been you know we've been friends for a long time so you know I, I, I hope that works out for her as well so you know be, go become a big star then come back and fight right. Speaking of contracts, what is the situation with Jake Shields he has one more after this correct or an option to, to sign him for one more fight right I mean uh, without getting to all the details uh, when they asked the question last week, we had a, a certain amount of time to option another fight. And uh, we had to do it within a certain time frame. But we just said, you know, we talked internally. We said, hey, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens Saturday night. Jake's future uh, is in his hands right now, no matter where he ends up. You know, And, and here's the thing, I'll be honest with you. There's going to be fighters that go back and forth, right? You know, fighters, Dan came over here. You know, fighters are going to go back and forth because 
they're because strike force is an option now they're going to be looking for you know uh, a better contract just like a football player would in the nfl it's like you know am i going to end up here so fighters are going to go back and forth and i just believe that's going to be the future no truth to the rumor that there's some dissension between both parties right oh no, no no i don't think so you could ask jake that but you know I, I don't believe there is. Okay, final question. Um, the report earlier today that Mike Whitehead has been uh, arrested, and obviously I, I know you've been following this story. Two questions. Is he still under strike force contract? And, uh, and B, do you know anything else about the situation? You know, I don't know. I, I got a text on the way over here saying that uh, Mike was arrested. I just don't have any more details, really, and I'd, I'd like to go find out and talk to uh, uh, his manager and find out what's going on. So I really don't want to comment on that because, you know, it's a sensitive issue and really has nothing to do with fighting. It has to do with, you know, he has some personal issues he's going to have to work through now. And, you know, I wish him luck. I mean, he, you know, he fought for us a couple of times and, and I, I, he's had some great fights. Him and uh, who was it that fought Affliction? It was uh, on Randleman. Well, he fought Randleman and King Mo. Okay. Ran was it Randleman? No, I think it was Randleman and him and then. Babalu, Babalu, and oh, well, and for affliction, yeah. That, that was a that was a great. I mean, it was a yeah. good fight, right? So, you know, he's a great fighter. He's had, uh, you know, good success in the cage and the ring. But, you know, this is something that goes way outside fighting. But is he still under uh, strike force contract? Under contract, okay. no. Mm -hmm. All right, Scott. Well, we appreciate it. We really uh, look forward to Saturday night. Yeah, thanks, sir.